Hello Gemini, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading for the month of April. It's not going to apply to all Geminis. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So we do have the new moon in Aries coming up on the 12th. So this is definitely going to be an opportunity to welcome in new beginnings, um, an opportunity for a clean slate. I do look at the new moon as an opportunity to also banish and remove what no longer serves you. So since it's in the sign of Aries, this could be a very um, aggressive energy. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what uh, I pick up, okay, for you, Geminis. Huh, that's kind of weird. Okay, so <laughs> I got a vision of a pie, okay, a pie. So someone was cutting a pie, so, um, I don't know what that could mean. So a piece of the pie. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, okay? So maybe people are after what you have, okay? Everybody wants a piece of your pie. Uh, and maybe a call for you to share your pie with others. And this pie can just represent, you know, sharing love, uh, maybe communicating with others, uh, maybe being more generous as well, okay? But I keep hearing everybody wants a piece of the pie, okay? Everybody wants a piece of the pie. Um, you may want a piece of the pie, um, but the question is, would you give a piece of your pie, okay? So there is question of, you know, whether or not you're willing to give, okay, um, rather than take. Okay, so that's what I'm getting um all right it's like you may want something from someone but you're not willing to give that same energy or it could be vice versa that's what i'm getting okay everyone wants the piece of the pie okay gemini let's take a look and see what's going on with you guys i'm using a tarot spread called truth not tales spread okay is for clarity so what is your focus or fear for the month of april gemini the month of april what is your focus or fear gemini gemini what is your focus or fear for the month of april the month of april what is your focus or fear for the month of april focus or fear what is your focus or fear for the month of april gemini What is your obstacle or blockage? What is your obstacle? Ooh, Lord. That one flew out. I'll take that. Okay. I'll pull another card. What is your what is your obstacle or obstacle and blockage? Okay, what is your obstacle and blockage for the month of April? Two of Wands is coming out again. This was in the Leo reading as well as the Sagittarius reading. So you could be dealing with the Leo or Sagittarius or have this in your chart. Okay, what is objectively true, Gemini? What is objectively true? What is objectively true for Gemini? What is objectively true for Gemini? What is objectively true for Gemini? Okay. And what is the step that you're needing to take? What is the step that you're needing to take? What is the step that you need to take, Gemini? Okay. So your focus and fear is the Ace of Cups. 
Wow. Some of you could have fear of love or fear of falling in love. Um, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Definitely could be dealing with the Pisces here. Okay. Because of the fish. Pisces represents the fish. You could have Pisces in your chart. Okay. So your fear and focus is on this water sign person. Okay, there could be some high emotions. Emotions are um, maybe running high surrounding this Pisces, okay? This Pisces is like jumping out of the water here, I see. Or this person, it doesn't have to just be a Pisces, it can just be this person just jumping out of the water here, okay? Um, but I really feel this goes back to emotions. So it's like you're... you're your focus is set on emotions and, and it's like your cup runneth over. So this, you know, in a positive view, this could just be focusing on new love that has entered your life. Okay. Um, I'm hearing losing someone. Okay. This could be a focus on losing someone. Maybe you um, have, have cut off emotions for someone. Gemini, I see here. For some of you, you've cut off emotions um, or your emotions are overflowing, okay? Um, it's like an excess of emotions here. So that's a focus for you. And the fear is, could just, just be a fear of um, maybe a relationship not being renewed, okay? Because the Ace of Chalice does talk about emotional renewal. It does talk about new love coming in. Um, also, like it talks about an offer. Some of you could be worried that you don't, you won't find love. Okay, you won't find love. It's like you're a lone fish. You're kind of on your own here. That's for some of you. Okay. Um, but yeah, I do see for some of you, it's like you won't. It's like there's concern about whether or not you will find that love, okay? If it's not finding love from another person or receiving love from another person, it's just like that happiness. There could be fear of not being truly happy, okay? Now, what is the obstacle and the blockage? So this card that popped out was the Ace of Athames. So, um, I mean, it flew out, okay? So uh, the obstacle, and the uh, blockage could just be a mental blockage, okay? A mental blockage, or it's like your thoughts. Uh, what the hell is that noise? Or your thoughts could be getting the best of you. I'm sorry, I heard something in my house. Okay, your thoughts could be getting the best of you. There could be like a lack of clarity or understanding, okay? When it comes to others. Um, when it comes to yourself, maybe a lack of self-understanding, um, you could have like a mental block. Um, it may be hard for you to see the truth. It could be hard for you to um, hear the truth as well. So that could be an obstacle or a block for you. Um, but I do see it could just be a mental block. And I also was hearing like writer's block. For some of you, you could have writer's block, okay? Um, we have the two of wands here. Okay, two of wands. This is like Aries, Mars and Aries energy. So just understand, uh, Gemini, you have the ability to break free mentally. You have this ability. So it's going to take you saying goodbye to any limited beliefs or any limited um, ways of thinking or responding to certain communications. Um, someone could have presented the truth to you or spoke their truth to you. And uh, for some of you, you weren't really having that, okay? And so you, for some of you, you could have just said goodbye to this person, okay? You could have just said goodbye to this person. Let me close my door because I have. Sorry. Okay, you could have said goodbye to this person just because um, some some hurtful words, some cutting words may have came through. And so that is somewhat of an obstacle or a blockage for you. And so you're, for some of you, you're saying adios. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Um, 
that's for some of you but for others of you if you're having this mental block you're you're not understanding or knowing which direction to take just know that you can make the right decisions for yourself you know the two of wands definitely does talk about making a decision okay uh, choosing uh, which path is right for you okay and this can definitely have something to do within your household within your family okay you could definitely be dealing with another air sign person gemini uh aquarius or libra you also could be dealing with the taurus person um as well as a leo sagittarius aries here okay so I do see that, that that's a block for you, some type of communication that has come through or it can just be internal, okay? It could just be some confusion maybe that you're facing, but just trust that you're able to make the right decision for yourself. You just have to uh, look at things from a, um, a higher perspective, okay? So what is objectively true? So we have the standing stone, the standing stone. So in the traditional tarot deck, it is uh, the justice card here. We have the scales here. So what's um, objectively true is that you are safe, you are secure. And looking at the stone here, seeing the stone, it's a sign of strength, okay? And it's surrounded by other stones as well. So this is like protection. You are safe and you are protected. What's really important, Gemini, is that you try to practice balance, okay, in your life. There is something that's somewhat out of balance, and this balance could just be within you. Um, I do see a spider here with a web, so it's something that, um, something that, for some of you, it's something that um, you created, okay? There's something that you created, something that you weaved, okay? So, um, it doesn't mean that you can't undo this, okay? And this, this weaving that you did can have something to do with you know your thoughts okay it's something that you created it's something that you created here okay but you have the ability to uh reweave the scenario we weave your situation okay so it's a call to take a look at what no longer serves you liberate yourself stand strong okay stand firm okay um in your situation if you're if you're dealing with a relationship for some of you definitely could be dealing with the relationship because this is um like the justice card here and there is scale so things are somewhat out of balance here okay uh for some of you it's out of balance so it's going to be a call for you to um readjust some things and it could just be re readjusting some things within yourself okay the way you view things the way you respond to certain things as well okay um and this spiral here it's not really even a spiral it looks like a maze here so you could be trying to figure out you know how to get out of the situation this maze can just be within you and on the stone it says harm none Okay, harm none. So for some of you, you could be very harsh on yourself. And that's the truth. You're very harsh on yourself. You're overly critical of yourself. And you need to be um, really careful with that. Okay. You need to protect your mind a bit more. Some of you could be empaths and very open. So um, since you're very open like that, it's easy for you to be attacked. Okay, spiritually, mentally as well. So just really watch out for that. Create a sacred space. All right. But I really feel like you are protected. You definitely are protected here, but you have to be very careful here. Okay. Because some of you are weaving something. Okay. And you could just be weaving drama or going back and forth with other people. Emotions are really high. And sometimes when we respond a certain way, you know, certain things can happen you know it could be positive or it could be negative so just really watch out um, how you respond to certain things and it could just be responding to that internal dialogue you know you could have negative internal dialogue and you kind of carry that out and so therefore you see that negativity around you so just just watch out for that that's for some of you okay so the step to take so this is a step that you need to take four of at things you need to just chill out take some time out some R and R, okay. I keep wanting to say Sagittarius and Capricorn for some reason. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with the Libra as well. I also see Cancer here, uh, another air sign person, 
as well libra gemini aquarius but um it's we're going to be a call for you to take some time out gemini and relax get out in nature and collect your thoughts some of you need to take a damn nap okay some of you could be really exhausted and you're just doing too much so you need to just relax maybe take a nap underneath a tree you know if it's safe of course um just get out in nature um you know hang out near the water just just ground your your mind ground your energy here because there's a lot of um it seems to be a, a emotional and mental activity i mean you could be going back and forth with other people okay some of you are needing to just stop talking some of you are needing to just kind of do the silent treatment if you're going back and forth with other people you know it's a call for you to just chill out and and choose not to respond Everything doesn't have to have a response. So you just need to do you and just relax, okay? That's really important. Because um, sometimes when we, res we respond to certain things, it can really drain us. So it's really important that you just kind of just chill out, you know? Uh, try not talking for a while. And, and for some of you, it could be kind of hard because maybe you have a profession where you're, you have to talk. Um, but this could just mean taking some time out for yourself to meditate, to just relax, to just chill. So this is the step that you're needing to take. Okay. And once you're able to do that, you then have an opportunity to collect your thoughts and do some internal work. Okay. Um, reflection as well. Okay, Gemini, let's see. What message we have for you and I'm using the green witch tarot deck and I'm also using the mother Mary Oracle so let's take a look and see what uh, message we have for you okay I'm gonna pick the third card because the third house belongs to you Gemini it's the house of mind siblings neighbors short trips some of you guys need to take a short trip <laughs> Okay, third card, third card for Gemini, third card, third card for Gemini. Oops. Third card, third card for Gemini. Third card, third card for Gemini, third card, third card. Wow, Our Lady of Divine Direction. Our Lady of Divine Direction. Wow. So you, Geminis, are definitely going through a transformative time. You're definitely going through a transformative time. Look at these little fishies that are on her, her garment here. Little fish. Wow. So some of you could definitely be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. Because it's like, there's fishes here and there's spirals here. So... Gemini, it's really important to understand that you have an, an internal, okay, an internal GPS. It's really important to trust yourself. You need to trust that you're able to make the right decisions for yourself. You need to, you need to pay attention to your internal compass, okay? Utilize your internal compass and understand that you're able to make the right decisions for yourself, okay? Um, you're being led you're being divinely led at this time and it's really important that you heed the message okay if you're getting a nudge to maybe change the way you think change the way you respond change the way you do things okay you're being divinely led okay and it's really important that you heed the call and heed the message if there's if you're in an altercation with someone and you get a um, maybe a, a message from a loved one or uh, maybe a divine message stating that you need to maybe walk away or not to speak, okay, maybe uh, to just spend time alone, you're being divinely directed. You're being divinely guided, okay. The divine's not going to lead you towards any chaos or negativity, okay. The messages are always going to be high vibrational, so it's going to be a call for you to really heed the call, to really heed the message, okay? Now, let me take a look and see what the book has to say. And I'm seeing here that some of you guys need to really protect yourself here, okay? She's wrapped up in this beautiful garment, so you need to really protect your energy, protect your mind as well. 
So it says, Our Lady of Divine Direction, I am guiding you, my child, and I ask you to trust me. Recently you had, or soon you will have a sudden change in direction, in a matter that perhaps surprises you. Do not resist this. Allow my hand to guide the course of your life direction. I have foreseen a pitfall that you can easily avoid. While still reaching your destination, pray for me, pray to me, and trust, and together we shall journey on towards the goal. Or feel that you are standing in a wide open space at a crossroads there might be dust on the road and no street signs either way just roads going in different directions say this prayer aloud mother Mary who loves me unconditionally our lady of divine direction guide me on my life path now I greatly accept any changes in direction that help me fulfill my divine destiny Please bless me with trust and courage and protect me with your grace. Imagine that you can step into the center of the crossroads with your eyes closed. Your sen you sense a loving hand at your back, the gentle fragrance of roses, and you know the Divine Mother is with you. Allow her to turn your nudge Allow her to turn you, nudge you gently, or take your hand and walk with you, even though you may not know in what direction you are moving. She may even just stand still with you. Allow whatever needs to be to be. Be with her for, a long, for as long as you need. When you are ready, complete your healing process with the following affirmation. Said aloud, if possible, three times. The Divine Mother Mary directs me along the truest and best path for my divine fulfillment and service to the greater good now. With her blessings and grace, I have the courage and trust I need to accept this direction and follow it faithfully. So be it. That's beautiful. Okay, Gemini, so that's going to be the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to send me a message through my website. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.